Okay. The only reason why I go up to my quote unquote personal little podium, right? <laughs> okay, right. The podium, like another reader said, it's made to just fit one person, right? Uno mas and uno mas, por favor. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. I just come on here, and I'm sure people have figured this out by now. That when I come on, it's because something needs to be said. So, that being said, it's not supposed to be what? Agreeable. It's not supposed to be what? Keeping up with the Joneses. It's not supposed to be what? Being agreeable and cordial or pleasant or all these things. No, because why? God forces you to speak up on things. Now, it's being truthful because right I was what and who else was what called out for what being fake around an old lady, i.e. Leo, right? And that was a problem. And that was an issue. God saying that's an issue. That's a problem. You're wearing masks around people, correct? Okay, so, you know, that saying you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, right? Manifested, basically, right? Okay. So I, like I said, that being said, you know, I'm not here to just keep perpetuating the mask, to keep perpetuating being fake, because why? Plenty of readers by now, they know who they are, calling whether it's my ass out, whether it's the people, other people, my immediate surroundings asses out, or whomever else in the collective asses out, right? Okay, because things need to be done, but it also needs to be, people have to be, are forced. They're not actually really forced, but in a sense they are. It's, it's forced free will. To those that aren't aware of that, they can check out Unite the Collective. Yeah, he talked about that a while ago. Anyway, I'm not trying to drag the dude in here because I haven't talked to him or heard of him or whatever in a while. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. All that being said, in the end of the day, like, I don't, I'm not here to blow smoke up people's asses. I'm not here to just play along to and cater to them or be their personal bitch. That's a part of the reason why, yes, I have been triggered and or lashing out at someone. Because why? The Black Widow thing is one thing. And number two, it's because somebody walks around like what? Like who? A Nancy Pelosi, you know, that politician, European female. Okay, some people just, like I said, need to research black widows, number one. Number two, they need to research 1950s housewife wife type females, particularly European ones, that are what you'd be deemed along the lines of a cold bitch. Okay, then they'll start understanding me and realizing, oh, she's not just trying to start shit. Or, oh, she's not just trying to start drama. Or, oh, it's not, you're immature. Or, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. All those myriad of things, right? Because quite frankly, I've been dealing with that said myriad of projections the entire time from the collective on and off, right? Okay. They have to also understand, despite me needing to grow up, they have to understand to be able to see past the illusion of that, which is, i.e., what? The fact that I am an INFJ and I have sentinel intelligence. People can look that up. There's plenty of teachers in the collective. Just like people can Google hey, what a Hayoka is and a Wedigo is, and that's me combined all smack dabbed into one freaking physical appendage here, right? You know, the Wedigo has the flying monkeys and the, the imposter. That's where the imposter syndrome comes from. Just like a reader mentioned, I had imposter syndrome before. I've had it on and off. It is what it is. I am who I am. You know, Vaknin's already taught stuff. Tracy Marks has already mentioned plenty of stuff. Dr. Z, PhD, has mentioned stuff. I haven't even watched all of their videos, mind you. So, there's more than enough uh, resources at people's said disposal to learn about anything and everything that they desire to learn about or want to learn about or need to learn about on a need-be-given basis as they so please, as they so see fit. Like I said, 
Um, I have been, you know, at rock bottom like other people have. It is what it is. But my true nature or true Aries nature is what action orientated. Yes. Okay. And yes, I have been with somebody for seven years. And yes, I have been monogamous. And this was the first time that had been full blown, completely monogamous. So, of course, that's going to fuck with my, i.e. even my, my consciousness and my freaking whole being, literally for its entirety. Yes, okay? I know I'm not the only one, so by no means am I here to, to, to try to garnish and, and, and get sympathy from people. I'll meet you over there in the bathroom. So... To get that out of the way too, all right? Because I know I've played victim at times in the past. I've been done and over this already. People know this too. People have been tracking my movements and following me around all kinds of people for God knows how long. Just like some people beat me to shit when it came to to speaking on whatever my deviance is, i.e. taxes being one of them. So, anyway, by no means. So, I have an issue with talking about that shit, Okay. I don't, because I just don't care. But, so to give people an uh, understanding of me, of where I'm coming from on certain shit, that's why I brought up my best friend Cheryl, who I grew up with, and she's in her 70s now. So she's closer to the age range of the older lady that I've been around. And I didn't have a problem pr- telling her, telling her, proving to her, look, you ain't nothing like this broad, because it's the truth. So it's like, I'm not here, it's like, Either people have me being fake or they have me being real. You have one of two options and that is it in the end of the day. So, you know, people want to think I'm an ad- have an attitude or whatever, that's fine. But the thing is, they're not trying to understand the reason why I have an attitude in the first place. And that has been going on consecutively for a while. Because if I was in a different environment and not having to be around someone with a demeanor and an attitude of you better serve me, bitch, then, oh, yeah, of course I'm not going to be triggered because why? Not even my own English grandma, Grandma Johns, ever acted like that. Nor did my mother of melanin, Mexican, Native American, Spanish, ever act like that. And nor did a Czechoslovakian woman in her 70s ever act like that. So when God is summoning me to speak up on shit, I am not a child. I am not an infantile person. I'm not immature, though I needed to grow up in more ways than one is correct. But I don't need to be treated like I'm this or that when in reality, I'm a fucking INFJ, sentinel intelligence individual and an old soul to begin with and being the wise one all along, which is correct. Yes, I am a transparent person. I've always been this way, despite some people need to just go look up a musician in the collective. Uh, uh, I forget his name now. It's, it's like a song about being like a chaos, about chaos and stuff. When I called you liar, you knew I would always find my way to you. Wait, I am going back over there. I'm being summoned. <laughs> 